start with NFA. So here it is a non-deterministic finite automata. We have seen what is the meaning of non-deterministic in the previous videos. So now the non-deterministic uh, meaning that the machine can exist in more than one state at the same time and transitions could be non-deterministic. It means that for any state you may or may not have a single next state or you have more than one next state or on some inputs you may not have the transitions at all. So transition function maps to a set of states. So they are coming to the definition. It has the same Q sigma delta Q0 F. Only the delta maps uh, mapping will be changing. So here delta maps from Q cross sigma to set of states which is 2 power Q. Whereas in case of previous uh, DFA it was mapping to a single state. Here it is set of states so it is 2 power Q. It is the same 5 parameters. Next how does the NFA processes the string. So input is a word which is in sigma star and if is the W acceptable by NFA so what is the procedure is you start from the start state and for every input symbol in the sequence uh, determine all possible next state from all the current states given the current input symbol in W and the transition function. After all the symbols in W are consumed and if at least one of the current states is a final state then accept W otherwise reject. So you can observe here the machine can be in one many states. So if it contains one of the final state then that string is accepted otherwise it is rejected. Suppose the machine is for NFA for strings containing 0 1. So you can see here for Q0 on 0 1 it goes to the final state and if it is a preceded by anything uh, 0 or 1 for q0 it remains in the same state and for q also it remains in the same state on q on 0 1. So this is the machine NFA for the required problem. So the by writing the transition table representation you can see that q0 on 0 it goes to the state q0 q1 you can observe for q0 you have multiple transitions on the alphabet 0. And for Q1, you have only transition on 1 and there is no transition on 0. So it is represented here as an empty set. It is 5. So this is the transition table representation of the NFA. And the regular expression for this language is anything preceded by zeros and 1s, any number followed by 0, 1, again followed by any zeros and 1s in any combination. So why non-determinism here is because on one of some of the alphabets for some of the states you may have multiple next states and for some states you may not have transitions on some of the input alphabets. So for the state Q1 on 0 what will happen here is it will not go to any state there is no next state we call it as a star. Second example build an NFA for the following language where L equals to W, W ends in 0, 1. So for the minimum string first construct the automata. So the minimum string is 0, 1. So on 0 from Q0 goes to the state Q1. For Q1 on 1 to the final state which is Q2. This is my final state. So whenever it is ends with, so for the start state you put a self loop to accept all the symbols other than the last two symbols. So it could be zeros or ones for the start state. So this is the NFA for the prop. If it was starts with 0, 1, then this self loop will be on Q2. Next is A, W, A. So it means it should start with A and ends with A. We have constructed the DFA if you remember. So the construction of NFA is very simple. So 
if it has start with a it goes to the state q1 if it starts with a and ends with a it goes to the state q2 which is the final state Now for accepting in between W after 1A, this is the final state here, after 1A, I can just write a self loop on both A and B. This W can be either A or B. So you can observe here for Q1, I have two transitions on A which was not allowed in the DFA, but for NFA, this is allowed. Next. This is also same previous way here for W after A, B, Q for that state I can put a self loop followed by two B's I will go to the final state. This is very simple you can try out. Next example W where the left symbol differs from the right symbol. So again here I start with Q0. First symbol is A. I go to the state Q1. First symbol is B. I go to the state Q2. If the next symbol is B, it means A, B, that is first symbol is A and the last symbol is B, then it should accept. So, I write the state Q3 and it has to be the final state. Next from Q2, if the next symbol or the last symbol is A, then it should accept. So, I will go to the state Q4, which is a final states. Next for Q3, if it is B, it is still ending with B, so it should accept. For Q4, if the next input is A, it is still ending with A, started with B, so it should be accepted. Now here, if the input is starting with B and if any number of Bs are appearing, it should remain in the same state which is a non-final state on B. For Q1, any number of A's here, it should remain in the same state. Suppose the input is A, B, B, A, B then it has to accept the string. So, for if it is starting with A and anything in between, it could be A, B, it should be considered, it can be considered here and ending with P, this could be done. So, again here, for uh, in between you have A or B, it doesn't matter. So, you can have self loop here. This is a very simple than your uh, previous uh, DFA construction. So, you can have multiple transition for in between states in the NFE. Or else you can remove this B also, it will do your task. Now, the next problem. So, here L is equal to W such that W is A, B, A, B raised to N or A, B, A raised to N, N greater than or equal to 0. So, it means minimum string is A, B, A or A, B. So, for which you write a separate path machine from the same start state. So, if it is A, B, use the above path. So, A, Q1, B, Q2,
AB if it is the directions are important ABA it should go to the final state Q3 here this is for the first language here followed by any number of B's B could be one zero or more so it should be a self loop so for the next language that is a b a raised to n use the other path a goes to the state q4 to the state q5 which is the final state after that it can have any number of a's that any could be zero also so it should be a self loop on a this is the required machine Next is let us see some differences between DFA and NFA. So first column represents the DFA properties and second column represents NFA. So in DFA all transitions are deterministic. That means for every transition leads to a, exactly one next state. Whereas uh, in NFA some transitions could be non-deterministic. That means transition could lead to a subset of states. Next property is that, next uh, DFA feature is that for every state transitions on all possible inputs should be defined. Whereas here not all simple transitions need to be defined explicitly. And here DFA accept the input if the last state visited is in F. Whereas here NFA accept the input if one of the last states is in F. Then DFA construction sometimes harder to construct because of the number of states and uh, NFA construction is generally easier than DFA and here DFA practical implementation is feasible because you have a single next state whereas practical implementations are limited but emerging that is micron automata processor is done. Even though you have um, differences, but DFAs and NFAs are equivalent in their power to capture the languages. We will stop for here. Thank you.